Texas football is back in full effect with Thursday's kickoff to spring practice. There doesn't appear to be much change in the personnel on the field as Texas will return the most starters of all Big 12 schools for the 2013 season. Rather, one area of change will be in the Texas football department. Mac Brown announced Thursday the Longhorns will join the likes of Alabama, Florida, Oklahoma, and seven other Big 12 schools in adding a director of player personnel to oversee recruiting. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion uh, over the last month with the rules changes in the NCAA of uh, possible adding positions. Um, we're looking at that very hard right now with the loss. I think we're in line with, uh, with the Big 12 schools pretty much throughout. Um, Alabama is ahead of all of us with the number of personnel that they've hired. And that's something that everybody's looking very closely at. Uh, we are posting a position today of a director of player personnel that would uh, oversee our recruiting. And what we feel like it needs to be is a, um, um, as, as good a, a recruiting coordinator as there is in the country. And, and that would mean a, a, a guy that can um, look at, at the new rules and see what can we send out and, 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 and be the best. At one time we were the best in media guides and we were the best in our website. And I don't think right now we are and we need to get back to that. So that, that's who this person we think needs to be. I, I think, again, we're posting today and, and we're going to see who's interested. And, and then we're going to look very closely at, at uh, um, we've got some ideas that we've discussed, but we're going to look very closely at who's interested and, and see, see who fits. You, if you look at social media is a huge part of that position now. Uh, video being sent out uh, over airwaves is a huge part of that position now. Um, all those things are things that, that are, are bigger than they were five years ago. Uh, every kid's on Twitter, every kid's on Facebook. Now they're jumping on Instagram. I mean, it's just, it's changing so fast uh, that, that we feel like that uh, there's a person out there that, that can help um, uh, do a better job with our process. In 2009, Alabama hired former pro and college scout for the Miami Dolphins, Ed Marinowitz, as its director of player personnel. Currently, the two-time defending national champions employ nine analysts. I can't blame Alabama for doing what they needed to do to be successful. And uh, the, the thing you've got to look at if you're looking at college football is can everybody do that? And is that fair? And, and it, it's fair for Alabama because they've, they've made it work for them. So I, I would not be critical of them at all. Uh, what I think, um, the, the patterns I see uh, in my past in this job, um, is when there were strength coaches that were doing the same thing and everybody had 10 strength coaches and they had one for every position. The NCAA realized it and they cut them to five. I think what we'll see in a year is that the analyst quality control positions will be um, cut to a certain number. I think that we'll see that the, um, the positions that you have across the board will be cut. So you'll have 10 assistant coach, uh, nine assistant coaches and a head coach You'll, we're, right now, we're restricted to four graduate assistants. There is no restriction on quality control. I think that you'll see a restriction coming. I'm not sure. I'm sure that'll be by the presidents and the athletic directors. Um, I personally would like to see the quality control guys be able to coach because if they are coaches, it's hard to monitor who is and who's not, so let them coach, and, and I would like to see that. Uh, and then I think you'll see that they'll have a number of 20 or less um, that can work with football in general. And I think you'll see them probably let all those guys recruit. But I don't think with it we'll have unlimited numbers this time next year. Texas will hold two open practices this spring. You will have the chance to see the Longhorns on the field Friday, March 1st and Saturday, March 2nd at DKR Texas Memorial Stadium. For OrangeBloods.com, I'm Taylor Gaspar.